Coming up on today's video, is Apple making it impossible for you to replace the hard drive on the new release iMacs? Coming up on today's video. Hey guys, Todd here with a new video for you, and today we're going to discuss the new released iMacs that were just released last week. Apple has basically made it impossible for users to upgrade the hard drive that's in them. Um, well guys, I'm going to come out and say it right here. Uh, I think this is a very bad thing for us consumers, me and you. Um, I'm, I'm not really happy because most of us consumers, users, like to replace our hard drives. We like to upgrade them. Hard drives do fail and we need that ability to get in there, swap out a hard drive, get our personal data off and swap it a new one because if without a hard drive, your computer is pretty much useless. So basically I want to read this from Mac Rumors, the reasoning behind it's difficult for us people, us Mac users, consumers, uh, people, I don't know why I said that, um, impossible for you to upgrade your Mac hard drive. So here we go. Basically Apple has implemented a new temperature sensor system on its latest iMac models that significantly hampers the ability of users to replace their original hard drive in case of a failure or a desire to upgrade. This is bad. Without the custom 7-pin hard drive cable and proprietary firmware included on the stock hard drives in the new machine. So basically what this is saying, guys, without this 7-pin hard drive uh, cable and their proprietary firmware, you're SOL. This is crap. I mean, is this, the, this is something to be expected from Apple, though. Apple is very locked. They're very proprietary. They pretty much want to own everything. So, I mean, is this something that we're supposed to expect from Apple? But, I mean, this is a hard drive, guys. I mean, everybody swaps out their hard drives and put faster ones in there or bigger ones because people run out of space very easily. If, you're, if you do music and you do uh, photos or movies, editing, you run out of hard drive space very quick, so you're always buying externals. Um, I, 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 I mean, I, I'm pretty much in shock right now. I just wanted to get this video up here and get your guys' thoughts and get it out there to see because most people might not know about this. But I think this is a very bad thing. Is this something we're going to see in the future from Apple? Start putting on their Mac Pro, on the laptops? I hope not. Uh, what do you guys feel? Do you think this is something this is to be expected from Apple? you think we're going to see this in the future? Or is this just Apple being Apple? Uh, also, it says here, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, the new iMacs fans spin to a full speed and the machines fail to pass the Apple hardware test. So basically they put in this sensor in there because the fans weren't spinning fast enough and they were probably overheating the hard drive. Okay, I understand that. I understand the reasoning behind this, but seriously, why make it difficult for you to swap out your hard drive and to make it, well, if you don't have this pin connector and you don't have this, sorry, your SOL. Uh, basically, um, I think that's basically all the article had to really say about it. It says Apple has not officially supported a do-it-yourself hard drive replacements on the iMac for many years, but many users have still elected to take on the task themselves or have others not specifically authorized by Apple to perform the swap for them. So basically, if you need to swap out your hard drive, you're going to have to take it to the Apple store. Well, sometimes you're in a pinch. Sometimes you need to get that hard drive out and swap it in with a new one because you have a project due or you have work to do or you just have something that's you know time sensitive that you can't go to the Apple store, make an appointment and wait around or there's not any available. So I really think this is a bad thing, guys. So how do you guys feel? Do you think this is just what Apple is known to do? Do you guys think this could ruin their reputation and people stop buying the iMac? Uh, feel free to leave your comments below. As always, guys, you can follow me up on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Todd K. Edwards. Also, if you don't like to communicate on Twitter with me, or you're just not a Twitter user, you can always email me at toddrecommends at gmail.com. You can send me over questions, video ideas, or things that you'd like to see on the channel. I'm very open to suggestions. I want to tailor this channel for you guys. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.